This is a typical Chinese ozone generator. Um, I bought this one secondhand off eBay. It's got basically an on off and timer switch and um, it's got a fan that blows ozonated air out. So this is quite a large unit, so let's take a wee look inside. Inside is the timer switch, high voltage transformer, high frequency, plus a capacitor in the series with it. That's um, probably to, uh, it's probably just a really simple way of um, using a lower voltage transformer and, and a 240 volt supply. It's got a mains power fan and it's got the ozone generating device itself. Now, the ozone generating device consists of a glass tube and inside is a piece of um, metal mesh that's been rolled up um, and pushed inside and allowed to expand against the inside. And on the outside, that, um, the inside bit's connected to one of the high voltage leads. On the inside, uh, outside shall I say, uh, is just stainless steel wire wound round the outside. And the reason they use stainless steel wire is because it's not affected um, by the ozone which would oxi um, oxidise any other sort of wire. So here's the principle of ozone generation. If you get a high voltage supply and you just had two electrodes, a spark would jump across and it would certainly it would generate some ozone but not an awful lot. You actually need a corona discharge which is a large area of discharge. So to do that they have the high voltage transformer and they've got the two electrodes, that's the inner and the outer on, on this glass tube and they have a layer of glass in between them and that basically forms an open air capacitor and on each uh, half of the main cycle current flows backwards and forwards but because it can't just jump straight across it forms lots of tiny little sparks which shows as a purple corona discharge and when oxygen molecules go through that um, they're split into their separate oxygen atoms now um, an oxygen atom um, normally an oxygen molecule is composed of two atoms of oxygen but um, when it goes through the corona discharge they're split apart and they form monoatomic oxygen which is just a single molecule, uh, atom of oxygen and triatomic oxygen which is ozone which is three atoms of oxygen and um, both um, monoatomic and triatomic are unstable they need to get rid of that uh, spare oxygen atom so they'll just attach it to anything else and that basically um, is the effect of ozone that uh, um, oxidizes anything it touches including odors in the air so very simple we've got the fan in blowing air across this um, and through the tube i guess as well but most of the corona discharge will appear on the outside surrounding this wire and then the ozonated air flows out the front of the unit so very simple actually um, but quite, quite a good effect.